All right, we're gonna do, I'm um, just messing with the tune on the saw. Uh, if any of you don't know what's going on, just kind of search some of my posts so I don't have to go through the whole stinking thing. I'm just gonna do some cuts and um, show you the first cuts with it and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, so first impression is it pulls really good. Uh, this is just the first tune on it. I'm still just started messing with the low side a little. Uh, I put the Walbro that had the backwards choke plate after I took the Walbro apart, WJ76, and I flipped the choke plate around. Um, I ended up putting that one back in. Uh, I'm working on a saw. I gave out one of my. Um, concept saws that I've done a lot of testing on and porting on and uh, 
really a highly modified saw out to a logger to see if he could wreck it and he did and um, so I'm working on that saw right now so I pulled off because I, I haven't ordered the uh, OEM trigger and the control rod yet and the ones that came with my kit they're still pieces of junk they work like crap uh, so I pulled out um, my trigger and control rod off of that saw and uh, put it on this saw uh, now I, I have high idle everything it starts right up I mean let's let's just do a drop start on it see if it starts right back up again I'll do it real quick here uh, sorry I got a new tripod thing I lost mine on a job site so I'm kind of learning my way through that one let's just see Definitely need to use the decomp with this one. It's 22,000 square sheets of bench. Yep. So, yeah, when, uh, the old man's strong enough to yank on it. it starts right back up so everything seems pretty good um, check out those pile of noodles it's pretty cool it's arborvitae uh, I just pulled out that chain I, I had uh, one sitting on the other saw and it was dull as shit so I just pulled this one out and this one actually feels pretty sharp so it cut well it was, no complaints um, you can see I added a port here uh, when I do customer saws I buy the port that you actually screw the holes in and drill a hole in the middle and it you know kind of looks like a regular port but when I do my own I do those um, as an extra port this one's got four ports on it you can see a little of the assembly oil coming out it's still breaking in um, I threw um, I'm, I was going to put do my dogs and paint them but I want to get this video up so I uh, put the dogs on off of the saw that I just got back from the logger that wrecked it and I'm gonna end up taking these off and painting them black and then I'll make another set for the other saw after when I put it back together I uh, just got the uh, three-quarter wrap in today I think it looks pretty cool with the black covers you can see the other ports on it there this so you got the one on the other side there's one here from Hustle Pharmatech there's a little back pressure port here, which I think is kind of cool. And then um, that, that's way bigger than OEM on that port. And I took the baffle out, which is why it's so loud. Uh, I saw the testing on it and um, I think Red Bull 661 on um, YouTube. Um, he has uh, Scotty Coons do most of his saws, but he did the testing on the 660s and the 661, the 660s and 661s with the the baffle in um, unmodified, the baffle in drilled out, and then the baffle out. And with the baffle out on the 660s is definitely better performance. So um, as far as the covers, I dyed them with RIT fabric, black fabric dye. You boil them uh, in the uh, in water on the stovetop at 180 degrees ish right around there for just less than boiling don't boil it um, for about 45 minutes they come out at black blacks them all the way through um, the dye goes all the way through the plastic so you can't scratch it and see orange again on this one I actually did take the uh, tank apart so that I could black this one piece too I think I really like the way it looks so I don't have that orange wedge in there uh, so yeah let's get the OEM trigger I have OEM bar studs in it a complete OEM adjuster uh, I stuck the OEM decomp in and off my other saw but I don't see any problem with the new Pharmatech ones that have the little dimples on the top they seem to work okay so um, this one just set a little bit harder so I put it in the other one was working fine when I first fired it up last night it's got the uh, Walbro WJ 76 on it um, you can see it's got the elasti start in it so, um, yeah, it's just testing now a little bit. I'll um, let her cool down and rip it apart and check all the bolts, make sure everything's tight. I uh, apologize for doing it with the little 25 on it, but I had it, the 25-inch bar, I had it laying out, and 
was on my bench and I don't have anything huge here to cut to really throw a 36 on it so yeah so I wanted to get it up I want to show Jason Egan I mean it, it seems uh, Jason that uh, throttle response seems good um, I'll check it to see if I'm getting any spit back and I'll do it real quick check it to see all that with that running if we're getting any blowback through the carb that low intake timing I got nothing in obviously because I got the spit catcher in here so yeah it's not bad at all Jason you can see the uh, that's all pretty dry oh you can see that I modify the intake horns too I don't know if you know I go through mine all the way but as you can see on the intake horn here I actually take out the little um, separator there's a rod that's right here I cut that out and then I kind of uh I can't, I can't really see it real good but i just kind of pour it out and polish all the inside and make a smooth transition on that too and I do, does it make a difference i don't know i mean it's just sitting there and it's not very hard metal so why not do it but uh yeah the hd filter i don't have the pre-filter on it right now because i just want to run it but yeah so that's it it's the update on it um 56 millimeter, 22,000 squish. Uh, I don't remember the time and numbers off the top of my head, but if you guys do a search on my name, um, there's uh, one one of my most recent posts. There's uh, like 40 pictures in it, and in the middle of those pictures somewhere is a notepad with all the time and numbers on it. So, yeah, that's it. So that's the first uh, video. I just wanted to get it up. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, you guys be safe out there.